Hello and welcome to Fox Gaming. Today I will show you how I painted Durin, King of Casa Doom. This miniature is probably the most boring special character in the game, but we are going to fix that. Make sure that you watch the video until the end, as I will show you what I do to make him stand out on the battlefield. Let's begin. The model was primed black, and the first color I used was Lead Belcher. This is used to paint in the chainmail, the axe head and the metal plates on his crown. Next I use Bergman's Glow to paint in his skin. The tunic axe handle and the bands on his hair is painted in the army color. In my instance I use Gretchen Green foundation. This color is no longer in production, but you can use a similar color or another color altogether. The highlights in the later stages works the same either way. Vinoxide was used to paint in the boots, pouch, belt and gloves. The beard and hair was painted using Mornfang Brown. Retributor armor was used to paint in the trim on the tunic, the details on his axe and the gold details on his crown. Next I use Nuln oil to shade the silver and brown areas. shaded in the gold and skin details with a Raiklan flesh shade. And the beard was shaded with Agrax Earth shade. Now let's start to highlight the miniature. The black area on his axe was first highlighted with Corvus Black, hitting a large area. Next, I used Eshin Grey as a broad edge highlight. Lastly, I used Dawnstone to selectively pick out the outer edges on the black area. For the brown areas, I use a mix of Rhinox Hide and Screaming Skull. Three parts Rhinox to one part Skull. I'm hitting a large area with this mix. Next, I'm mixing in some more Screaming Skull about 50-50. Then I paint a smaller area using this mix. For the army color I mix Gretchen Green with Screaming Skull, about 60-40 in favor of the green. If you have used another color for your army, just substitute the Gretchen Green with your chosen color. The next highlights on the green areas I mixed in some more Screaming Skull about one part green to three parts Screaming Skull. The skin is next. I used Cadian Flesh Tone to highlight the cheeks. The beard and hair was then highlighted using Talarn Sand. I just made little streaks instead of trying to hit every single hair. On the next highlight I used Sandry Dust hitting a smaller area. Lastly, I used Carrick Stone to pick out some small spots that the light would naturally hit. To highlight the silver details, I use Lead Belcher. This works because of the darkening of these areas with Nuln Oil. I use an overbrush technique on the chainmail and a broad edge highlight on the axe. The silver plates on the helm was just highlighted the normal way. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I use Iron Breaker to do a finer highlights on a smaller area on the silver parts, using the same techniques as above. The gold details was highlighted with a mix of Iron Breaker and Ganas Gold, with a ratio of 3 parts Ganas Gold to 1 part Iron Breaker. The second highlight, the mix was about 60-40, in favor of Iron Breaker. Now for the part that will make Durin stand out on the battlefield. You might have noticed that I haven't done anything with his cloak yet. Well, this is the reason. I'm painting small squares all over the outside of the cloak using corn red. This is very time consuming, but it will be well worth it in the end. Next I use Wasdaka Red to paint in the lower half of the squares, like this. Lastly, I'm painting a thin line on the bottom of the square, using Wild Rider Red. This creates a nice 3D effect, and brings another dimension to this otherwise boring mini. But I'm not done. There is another trick to make him stand out, but I will come back to that very soon. First I will do the rest of the cloak. The inside is first highlighted using Corvus Black, hitting a large area. I then use Eschen Grey to hit a much smaller area. Then I finish it off with a very thin line of Dawnstone. Now back to the second thing that literally elevates Durin. I have made a base for him, in this case a large rock. I have also made some gold bars from leftover sprue that I have glued to the base. The rock is made from XPS foam and filler to seal it all down. It was then base coated using a black primer. For painting the base, I start with a heavy dry brush of Eshing Grey. And then a lighter dry brush using Dawnstone. very light dry brush using Pallid Witch Flesh. The gold bars was painted using Retributor Armor. Washed with Raikland Flesh Shade. While this was drying, I painted the rim of the base using Mornfang Brown. I then glued Durin to the base and highlighted the gold bars using a mix of Iron Breaker and Genus Gold with a ratio of 3 parts Genus and 1 part Iron Breaker. And now Durin is complete, ready to lead his forces against the Balrog and its minions. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want more content like this. Push the like button if you liked the video and leave a comment if you have any questions. See you later.